Hey guys, it's Hayes with CheatSheetPros.com. Today we're going to take a look at player props and I'm going to show you what I look for and kind of how I utilize the sheet. So one of the things you need is you need a source so you can take a look at game logs. For me, I prefer just pulling up DraftKings, going into a contest so we can search player names and then from here we can pull it up and then we can look at their stats. You can also do this on most DFS sites, any optimizer like Fantasy Cruncher will let you click in, take a look at it. You can go to Basketball Reference. There are several different places that you can go, um, but have somewhere where you can look at the game logs. And then we're going to look at some props that I do here on my bookie. And also, I've got a referral link. If you don't have an account with my bookie and you want to sign up, I'll give you three free months of premium group and chat at our website. I'll put the sign up link in the description. And then Thrive Fantasy or Prize Picks, either one, they're a good place. Prize Picks is going to give you more lines, but the payouts aren't as good. What I like about Thrive is it has a little bit different lines. You get some points, rebounds, assist, points, rebounds. And then when you click on the player, it will bring up their recent, their last five games so you can see the stats you need to right here. So that's one of the good things about it. So we're going to take a look at a few today and just give you a tutorial of kind of how I build mine. So the first thing I do is I open up the NBA cheat sheet for the day. I do kind of tinker around on this main DFS tab, but I go down here mainly to the props tab and to the last seven. This is one I'm kind of playing with. But the props tab, you can click up here and you can just go game by game and see who's projected for the most points, you know, DFF salaries, positions, where the minutes are being played. And then these are your last seven day, last 15 day averages. And if we scroll over a little more, let me see, I got room on my screen, I can bring this out. Then we can go ahead and kind of take a look at the opponent DVP. So the Lakers here, this is the opponent. So this is what Sacramento's DVP looks like. This is how many points they give to each position, rebounds, assists, three-pointers, and price pick fantasy points. I put that in there. I like doing PRA, which is points, rebounds, assists. So I made a little column showing what they're projected, what they've averaged in the last seven days, and what they've averaged in the last 15 days. And then if you're on price picks specifically, you can come over here and see the price pick fantasy points per minute, what they've done, what they're projected at, the last seven, the last 15, so you can determine if it's any good or not. Um, let me see here. So... I'm going to scroll back over and then also this last seven, this is a tab I'm just kind of playing with. It's basically got their current projections for minutes, points, rebounds, assist, and PRA, three-pointers made, blocks and steals. And then this has what their, or I'm sorry, this is their current projections. This is what they've averaged the last seven days. And I put in how many games they've played. So if it's one game, take it with a grain of salt. If it's three, you kind of got a little bit more of a base. And then your middle... This is just a kind of middle ground between what they've done the last seven days and their current projection. So this is what I use when I'm looking at a lot of my props. So let's scroll down here. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple. So when I go over here to the props tab, um, LeBron, we're going to go to him. But first, let's take a look at Toronto. So when I look at this Toronto game, so this Toronto and uh, San Antonio game has a big total. It's one that's been trending up, so that's one I want to try to find some prayer, player props in. Uh, Van Vliet, someone who's recently returned, so I want to take a look kind of at his raw projections. They're projecting him about 20 points, five rebounds, six and a half assists. Um, last seven days, I think he's only played one or two games, but he's been exceeding those numbers, so he's projected at 20 points. He put up 33 in the game he played. Uh, rebounds was less than this his assist was over and he made five three-point shots um, last 15 days again these are going to be the same because I believe he's only got one game played um, opponent DVP what I like here is Van Bleed is a guard and they give up 24.4 points to the guard position and a bunch of assists and a decent amount of three-pointers and a ton of price pick points so if we're looking at his points rebound assist number on here you can see he's projected at 31 the last week or whatever, the one or two games he's played. He's averaging 44 and same over the last two weeks. So he's someone I want to take a look at. And then when I come over here and look at the last seven slate, I always sort by one of these columns. And he's going to come up here 
as he's averaging 44 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. So he's someone that we want to take a look at. So the first thing I'm going to do for Van Vliet is let's just take a look at his game log and see. So he's been out. So he played 12, 31, and 1, 2. So he's got two games in and 57 and 54 fantasy points. But here, what I'm looking at, I'm going to screenshot this so I can write on it for you. So his game log here. So he hadn't, he hadn't played since 12-18, so we're going to just kind of cross this off here at the bottom. So he has 35 and 31 points in his last two games, and then his rebounds and assist, he has 5 and 5, 9 and 4, so he had 10 this game and 13 this game. So he's been on fire for his points, rebounds, assist. So that's someone that I'm going to look at. Van Vliet's playing a lot of minutes. The game's got a high total. Um, Sacramento's got a good DVP. Now, when I come over here to, this is mybookie.com. This is where I started playing player props. The other sports book I use, they don't release them until about three hours before the game. So by then, I'm already tuned in and I kind of know what I want so I can spot stuff really quick. But you come over here to this uh, props builder and it's a third-party site that's linked in here. So click on that. We're going to give it a chance to load. And then this is where I build a lot of my props parlays. DK and FanDuel have great sites for it, but it's not legal in the state that I live in. So I'm forced to go to my bookie if I want to parlay props or go to Thrive Price Picks to parlay them. And in my local book, I can do straight bets on them, but I can usually pick off some good lines. So um, you can go to Build or you can go to Quick Picks. If you go to Build, you can search player names or you can go game by game and kind of see who they've got up. I was just flipping through Memphis, Cleveland. They've only got three guys up right now. So they're waiting on some more. Garland may come back, so that's going to change some. So I don't expect them to have that up. But popular players, let's look at Van Vliet. So we click on him. We bring him over here. And then you have this drop down, and you can pick points, rebounds, assist, rebounds, assist, points, assist, rebounds. Those are the most popular. Three-point field goals, block shots, and steals. Now, you can't parlay the points, rebounds, assist, or at least I have not been able to, but I love to straight bet these. So that's usually the first thing I look at. If a player's contributing a good amount of rebounds and assist and he's a scorer, then the PRA number is something good to look at. So when you first put it in, now keep in mind this says we'll have at least, now it says 34. So a lot of people look at this as and say over 34. That's incorrect. It's at least 34. So if he has 34, that is a win. So when I do my write-ups, I say over 33 and a half because more people are accustomed to that type of talk. So we want to find a line that's somewhere between even money, minus 120, and we consider that like a normal straight wager in a book. That's usually the first one that pops up. So minus 108, over 33 and a half. That's a good, good bet. I like that. Now we just took a look at his line here. So his over under points, rebounds, assist is 33 and a half or at least 34. Well, his last two games, he has 35 and 31 points. So he's almost there with just his raw scoring. Now, given it is only two games, so you want to be careful, but I do like the matchup and I do like the total in the DVP. But here, so he had 35 points, five rebounds, five assists. So his points, rebounds, and assist total was 45. And then here, it was a little higher than that. We got 31, 35, 44. All right, so we got 45 and 44 over his last two games. So that's pretty good, and we can do a straight bet over 34. I like that. Now, one of the things that... Oh, crap, I clicked off of him. So one of the things that I want you to pay attention to when you're parlaying these different props is look at the money line and look at the number. So you can move this number around. So typically, if we go up... so. He's been averaging 40 to 45, so let's say we want to take this up. If I go to 35, I get plus money. 36, it climbs, jumps a little bit more. 37, jumps a little bit more. 38, jumps a little bit more. And they're all about the same incremental jump. There's nothing huge. So what I'm looking for is a big jump. I want to see where that key number is that they really shoot it up. So, so far, it's been pretty modest, kind of jumping up about the same, so... No big jumps on the top end. Now we're going to go back here to, I think it was 34 at 108. Now let's go the other way and see if the money jumps down. So boom, right there on the bat. So if we're at 34, 
We're at minus 108. If we go down one, it goes to minus 625. That's a huge jump. So you can see when we went up, it was jumping anywhere between 15 and 30 points. But when we jumped down, it jumped from minus 108 to minus 625. So you want to make sure you don't get stuck just typing in a number and clicking, okay, I'm going to do this 625 when you could go up one and save 500 points of juice. And then as you keep going down, so that dropped about 600 points. The next one dropped 300 points, another 350, and then at 1,000 points. So it drops drastically. So at 30, it's minus 2,500. But at a simple 34, we get up to even money. And then we can get up to 45 and even get up to plus 270. So the 34, I like a straight wager on. It doesn't really jump enough for me to add all these extra ones. I'm going to bank a 34 and go with that. Now let's look at putting a prop parlay together. So let's go ahead and put him in here. So points, we know he's a scorer. And so he had 31, 35 points the last two games and a good total. So we can get over 22 points for a minus 116. That, that's pretty good. I mean, he's hit 30 and 30. So let's climb this up a little bit, get something kind of down to even money, 24, 26. Wow, I really like him climbing up here so I could do 30 points say he's got 31 35 and 31 and then the two prior games before he left was 27 and 31 so his last four games 35 31 27 and 31 points and so I can get over 30 at plus 200 so I would put that in a parlay where I want to bet a little bit of money and go for a huge payout because 30 feels pretty safe but I mean, if I can get 22 at almost minus 116, we'll say 23, 103, we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna build a parlay, so we add that. And so you can do this as a straight bet or you can add extra bets to create a parlay. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at another guy. So I'm gonna go see who's been averaging a ton of points the last seven days. Um, Morant's one I'm interested in, but he wasn't up yet. We just looked at Van Vliet, so Booker, is the next guy that shows up here. So he's averaged 28 points a game across three games over the last week. And then his middle number is about 30. And then he's projected at 36. Well, sorry, that's minutes. He's projected at 32.4. So somewhere between 30, 32, and 28, somewhere kind of in that number, that's a good middle ground for us. So let's go ahead and take a look for Booker. Now, Booker's here, but you can always type in his last name, hit enter, it's gonna pull him over here and then we can click the drop down. So I always like looking at points, rebounds, assist first and say, okay, 35. Well, how many of that 35 is points? They have him at 26 points. And then let's see how the money moves. So about 20 points. All right, so not too bad. It moves around pretty good. And then let's slide down here and on the down. Now see with him, you can take this down and I typically like to be minus 200 to minus 300 if I'm going to put five or six of these together, but I want to feel really good about them. And so we just saw the Van Vliet win jump from minus 108 to minus 625, but Booker, I can move his points around. Like I can take over 19 and a half points at minus 500 and put it in there, and I'd feel pretty good with that. So let's take a look at his game log. So I'm just using DraftKings because everybody's got access to this. And so we take a look at him. Let me screenshot this so I can write on it. All right, so we've got his games here. So we're looking at his total points. Now he had this game against Golden State where he only shot five of 19. So we're gonna throw that out. We're gonna look at his last four games. So he had 30 here, 38, 22, 24. So we could say over his last four games, we could safely say he's got a low of 22 to 24 points and he's got a high of almost 40. Um, I always wanna look at the field goal attempts that they're shooting over here and see if there's a drastic drop off. We know his minutes are always pretty steady. You know, he's gonna be that 30 to 38 minute guy. He's always on the court for him. The closer the game is, the better they're gonna do. Now this game, they blew him out. He only played 29 minutes and they should blow out the Pelicans, so that's something you want to keep an eye on. So in that game where they blew him out, he was 9 of 19 and had 24 points. Um, they lost this game. He played 38 minutes, but he took 26 shots. Now he only shot 27% and had 22 points. So 22 to 24 points tonight I think would be a safe one, 
And this game is kind of the opposite. You know, they beat up on OKC, but he still played 36 minutes, 24 shots, put up 38 points. And then Memphis, they played a close game, 37 minutes, 20 shots, 30 points. So I think 20 to 24 is a low, and then 30 to 38 is a high. So that gives me kind of a baseline of what I'm looking for. So we have his points here. So we could say over 21 and a half minus 303. Let's go ahead and let's add that to our parlay. I think that's pretty safe. But if you wanted to get a little risk and a higher reward parlay, you can get over to under 26. I think that's pretty good. But usually we've seen if he goes over, he's gonna if he's on fire, he's gonna drop a lot of shots. So I'd prefer to go like over 30, which or over 29 and a half, so at least 30 for plus 142. So that's going to give you some plus money there. But this parlay, I'm going to keep it pretty safe. Van Vliet over 23 at about even money. I like that. Booker, he struggled last couple games and by struggled still put up, you know, 22, 24 points. So I'm going to drop this down to at least 22, which is over 21 and a half. And then let's find another leg that we can put in here. And um, LeBron, someone everybody understands. So let's go ahead and take a look at LeBron. Now his uh, PRA, he has been on fire. He's got 51.9 over the last week, and his middle ground is 48.7. So let's just take a look at him. Maybe we want to do a points, rebounds, assists, straight bet. So I got some really low numbers on him earlier. So 49 at minus 105, that's pretty good compared to what he's been putting up. The book's starting to catch up on him there for a while. We were getting away with murder, getting him at like low 40s. So 26 five and seven so that's 38 so that was a very rough game for him against minnesota but prior to that look at this so he had a string of 30 point games but look right here let's not look at last game so points alone 43 37 32 39 rebounds 14 13 10 9 assist 4 7 11 7 so his assists are up and down. Say he gets five to seven and then about 10 rebounds. So you're looking at 15 to 20 in rebounds and assists. And then you add his points in here. Well, I mean, you're looking at this is, you know, 50 to 60. This is well over 50. This is pushing 50. This is almost 60. So his PRA number is pretty good. And then even before that, like look down at these other games, 39, 36, 34, 31, so he's been doing really well trying to get the Lakers back on. So his points, rebounds, assists, 49. Um, that's not too bad. He's been going well over that. So let's go ahead and take a look at his points. Um, he's a true scorer. He's been scoring a ton of points. Now this seems kind of high to me, 31 at minus 120. Um, now he just had 26, so he was below that, but he was only 7 of 15. Prior to that, look at these shot attempts. 26, 25, 19, 25, so taking a ton of shots in a game against Sacramento, which he shouldn't have much defense on him, and he should be up in this 30-point range, so uh, where'd we go? So if you want to do that, so I want to move this around and see, since he's coming off of a 26-point game, I think he's good for 30, but I want to be a little safe on this because this is a safer card that I want to put a little bit more money on. So this minus 200 to minus 300 range. So we can get over 25 and a half at minus 323. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. Um, and that's going to take us up. So we're already up here at plus 243. And that's a safe number with Van Vliet. Booker has a fairly safe number. And LeBron has a fairly safe number at 26. I mean, he's coming off of a 26. So that would have been a winner because it's at least 26. And so that would have been a win. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven games in a row. He's been over that number. So I feel pretty good with, you know, throwing some money on that. Now, these three alone were at plus 243. So we're already plus money. And I like doing three because that gives us a solid three studs from three different games that we can take a look at and go with that. So this is one that I would recommend using. Now, you can take this all the way up to 10 players on my bookie. And one of the ones that I've just tinkered through and looked at that I've made a ton of money on is Tyrese Halliburton assist. Now the book's getting better. Now you can see here over eight and a half or at least nine is minus 149. We can go to eight, 213. 
And then, so here's a big jump between seven and eight, we go to minus 200 and it doubles to minus 400. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the over seven and a half on here and we're gonna take a look at that. But let me show you now some of the straight wagers that I like to do. So I like putting 10 on here. So over nine and a half, if he gets 10, it's pretty much a straight wager. Um, 11, you jump to big plus money. And then 12, so over 11 and a half, you jump to plus 227. So you could do a big card and put him on here. Now, one of the things I like about Halliburton, especially if I can get his assist, because price picks for, God, I don't know how many weeks, they had it like over seven, over seven and a half. And in the chat, I was just nonstop, put Halliburton assist in there. You've got to run him. Look at this, assist, 12, 10, 10, 10, seven, 13, 11, 11 again, 10, 9. I mean, and then, so over here for our card, we have over 7.5 at minus 213. I love putting that in a card because, I mean, has he ever had, so he would, 7 would be a loss. Has he even had a game of 7? So 9, 10, 11, 11, 13, 7. So that would have been 1. 10, 10, 10, 12. So you could safely do eight, nine, ten, depending on upon what you're comfortable with. But over seven and a half, I like because usually he can get that by mid third quarter, and I'm done. And then look what that does to our parlay card. Now we're up to plus three sixty five. So you can really crank this up, and you can add stuff, take stuff away. Now, given we could flip this card and we could say Van Vliet over thirty points, Booker over thirty points, LeBron over thirty points. Tyrese over 10 assists, and this thing would probably pay 20 to 1 or 25 to 1. So mix and match, it's whatever you're comfortable with. I usually post some of my favorite prop parlays. And really how you find him is I use the sheet, I kind of flip through here, and I look at the projections, and I see who's been exceeding that over the last 7 days to last 15 days, and then I go look at the game logs for that player. That's it. It's as simple as that. I'm also here on the props tab... Um, you can go game by game. If people are getting moved out, you can see how many minutes they've been playing, how much they're going to be on the court. You can look at the DVP. There's no right or wrong way to look at the NBA cheat sheet. There are, if you ask 10 people, they're going to give you 10 different ways they use it, 10 different things that they do. Um, so let me shrink this back down. Now, one of the other things, let's, now I can't open price picks on my book for some reason, and I'll pull up and show you. So that's why I stopped posting a lot of price pick videos. When I go up here to go to sign in, I put it in, and then I click log in. It just it never logs me in. I spent three months with tech support, and they have no idea why. So since price picks won't let me log in, I can only do it on my phone. So we're going to focus on Thrive. So when you pull up Thrive, go over here to the prop lobby, and this is going to pull up your NBA props, and they always add stuff to this. So... I'm going to go ahead and just kind of refresh it, make sure there's not any new ones that I miss on here. So once I've kind of went through and I've built some parlays and whatnot, and I kind of know who I want, I'll flip through Thrive, go to Props, and we'll kind of flip down here, kind of take a look at everybody so I can already see a couple of new people that they added. Um, and you got to be careful because sometimes they'll move around. Like, for example, um, Halliburton, he's one I saw in here earlier. So Tyrese Halliburton, points and assists. So he, they did points and rebounds before, points and assists. Now we know he's good for about 10 assists, but can he score the 14 points? Well, you can see his points are sporadic. He had 9 and 12, so he's kind of, they pegged that one good. I don't think there's a lock either way there. I think that's a good number because his assists are solid, but his points are variable. So that's why I like looking at price picks because I can pick assist only and then slap that thing in there and go with an over. Um, and I like coming in here. You can take a look at this. So LeBron, let's see, 38 and a half points and assists. So let's take a look at him. So he had a bad game here. Oh, sorry, points and assists. So he had 31. He was over, 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 over. So probably good shot to go over here since he's scoring almost 30, 35 points a game. So that's not a bad over if you want to go with that one. But I kind of flip through here, take a look at it. Booker, 25 and a half points. That one kind of jumps out at me as one you might want an over on. Why did that thing drop down? Okay, there we go. So 24 and 22. He's had two rough games, which we discussed those. But prior to that, 38 and 30. 
So 25 and a half is a good number. I would lean the over there. But just kind of flip through. Some of you guys follow certain teams. You know players better than I do. Um, there are teams that I don't know, like the Knicks. Like I never really get into looking at them or breaking them down, so I'm not real familiar with them. Van Vliet is someone. 21 and a half points. Now, I love this over. This to me is just like... I'm definitely going to go for it. With 35 and 31 the last two games, um, that's someone that we looked at. He showed up on our sheet over here by saying, hey, he's projected at 20, but the last seven days he has two games. He's putting up 33. So that's one that we went in, looked at his game logs, and then they're going up in a game that's got a big total. And even before that, 27, 31, like I love this one. Van Vliet over 21 and a half points. So that's one I'm going to take a look at. And Price picks pays out well enough that you can do like Van Vliet over and then do two cards. Uh, do two cards. Find one that's got a half and go, here's a card, go over, and then do another card, go under. So you're guaranteed to win one. So you're basically getting about plus 130 on him going over this 21 and a half. And then my other sports book, I will pull it up. And I don't think I've got. Actually, yeah, they're not up yet. I just looked. So the other sports book, they show NBA player props three to four hours before game time. And I flip down through there. And like um, to give an example, oh, it's probably not going to show him because they're not playing today. Uh, they had Jalen Green three point shots made. And it was minus 170 when I went over here to my bookie on over two and a half. And he had made like three, four, five, like several games in a row. Well, my book, which is a smaller book, was plus 132 for over two and a half. So I was like, oh my God. So I hammered that. He didn't go over. He only had one or two. But still, if it's plus 165, one set, or minus 165, 170, and then you're getting plus 132. So just keep an eye out at the different books. You'll get different numbers. The algorithm for my bookie, it's a third party that puts this together where you can build these, but you can go through and pick darn near anything. Um, and I like playing with these, they're a lot of fun. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial, kind of show you you know, what to look for, You know, have something to look at game logs, but just look on the sheet, find what you got, compare it to the lines you're seeing, um, watch Vegas, see if the money's going up, going down, um, and find a few you like, put them together, have some fun with it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to put the MyBookie referral link in here. If you want to sign up, um, feel free to use the link and then just shoot me a message. I'll confirm it and then I'll give you three months free in our premium group. But good luck. Have some uh, fun with these props and talk to you later.